today I am dehydrating calendula flower petals. Um, I just take the petals off and stick them on my dehydrator trays. I'm going to be making um, calendula infused oil and then eventually salve. Um, it's supposed to be really good for healing dry skin or cracked skin. So we'll see. It's a six week process. Um, four weeks if you rush it a little bit. But um, the oil needs to infuse anywhere from four to six weeks. So um, I'm going with the six weeks. Okay, I've loaded up my dehydrator. I have two trays of calendula petals and one tray of partially dried basil um, that I partially dried the first time when I did the first batch of calendula. Um, it takes about twice as long as calendula so that works out and that way I don't have to run the dehydrator without um, all three trays being full. that on, turn it on, and by tonight they should be dehydrated. Okay, my petals are dry. Um, this is trays five and six. Um, I've already done four trays worth and it's filled the pint jar um, two thirds of the way full. So about Six trays worth of petals is what it takes, and um, at the rate my flowers have been blooming, I've been able to do two trays a day of calendula, and then the other tray uh, has just been filled with basil. So, and this is what uh, two trays of basil equals out to, and it's not very much once it's been powdered, but anyway for the calendula. So I'm going to put this in the jar and then I'm going to cover it with oil. Um, my first batch I did sunflower oil and this batch I'm going to do olive oil and see if there's much of a difference. Okay, as you can see these are packed in here pretty solid. So now I'm going to add my oil. You want to cover all of the petals and then you want to poke around in here just to make sure that all of the oil gets in. It's kind of like debubbling when um, you're canning. You just want to make sure that there's no air pockets. that the petals are completely covered. And then this gets a lid put on it and it gets set in a windowsill with sun for the next six weeks and shaken up at least once a day. And you just need to make sure that the petals are always under the oil and um, if they aren't, sometimes mold can form, so you don't want that to happen or it'll ruin all your oil. Alright, so it's sitting in the window and it's next to the one I made three days ago with the sunflower oil. And we will see how they do. And I will come back with an update when the oil's been infused and I've strained it and I make the salve.